Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about blocking and unblocking contacts on your iPhone. And I'm even going to help you troubleshoot issues where you block someone, but they're still able to message you. Let's get started. All right, so we've got the iPhone here and what I'm going to show you should work on any modern iPhone that has at least iOS 17 or later and it should work pretty much the same way. Now we're gonna go over the basics, so blocking a contact and unblocking, but if you do wanna skip ahead to other sections, there's chapters in the video description below. You can click those if you wanna learn about the troubleshooting issues and other features with blocking, you can click to do that. For now, like I said, let's start with just blocking anybody, a contact, a caller, anybody. So the simplest way to do that is in the phone app. Anytime you receive a call or you have a phone number or you call someone, if you open the phone app, in the recent tab, you'll be able to see the full list here. Now, obviously I've blocked out a lot of the numbers for privacy reasons, but if you take a look here, this one right here, this was a spam call and I get these all the time and they're very annoying and they usually come from the same number for a long period of time, maybe like two, three days, you'll get four or five calls from that number. So as soon as it comes in, you've indicated it was spam. What you want to do to block it is just tap this little eye. And when you do that, it's going to open up a page like this. It looks very similar to what your contacts would look like. But at the bottom, if you scroll down, you'll see block this caller. All you have to do is tap on that, tap block contact, and it'll block that caller from being able to call you on the phone. Keep in mind, this will also block them from messaging you or getting a hold of you in any way. If they do call you, it's going to send them straight to voicemail. Now, if you wanna block a contact, you can do it the same way. In your recent tab here, you can just find whoever you want to block, you can block them there, or you can tap on the contact section. From the contact section, you're gonna see a full list of all your contacts and you can scroll through them all. When you find the contact you wanna block, you can tap on their name. It'll open up the contact page right here. You can then scroll down. You'll see more information. This is just here for example, and you can tap on block this caller as well. You tap block and it confirms that this contact is blocked. Now the next way you can block a contact is through the messaging app. So we're just going to open up messages and from this messaging section, you'll be able to see all of your recent messages. All you have to do is open one. For example, I constantly get this spam message about Netflix and it's always a scam. So I'm just going to tap on that message. It'll open it up. You're going to tap on the little phone number underneath the user here or tap on the user. It'll open up a section or a page like this. You're going to tap info. It opens up that contact card once again, and you just scroll down, tap block this caller, block contact, and they're blocked as well. Now it works exactly the same in FaceTime. So if you open FaceTime, this is what you're going to see. You just tap the little icon beside anyone's name. When it opens up that contact card, you can scroll down and block them as well. Now let's talk about unblocking contacts. And there's a few ways you can do this as well. So the first way is to open up your phone app and in your contact section, you can just find the contact you block. So for example, this one right here, we scroll all the way down to the bottom and then you'll see it says unblock this caller. We can tap unblock and now they're unblocked from our list list. Now in the same fashion, if you don't have them in your contact list, you can tap the recent tab again. And again, here, you're just going to go through and find that contact you may have blocked. So like I said, it was the spam call that I keep getting right here. We can tap the little I and then we scroll down and you can unblock this caller as well. But I'm going to leave them blocked because I really don't want to receive any messages from them. Same thing in messages, just follow the exact same steps we did to block them. And then now it'll say unblock, same thing in FaceTime. Now let's go over the blocked contact list and settings because every contact you block on your iPhone is going to end up in a blocked list. So we're gonna open up our settings application. We're gonna scroll down until we find the phone application here. And then just scroll down until you find blocked contacts. Tap on that. Again, I've blocked out all of these numbers. And keep in mind, some of the contacts you may be blocking may be emails because they're contacting you through iMessage via email. And you can see the list is just on and on for me because it's just nonstop spam these days. If you want to unblock any of these contacts, for example, this one, all you have to do is just swipe left. It'll pop up with an unblock icon. You can tap on that. It'll unblock them. You can also tap edit 
And then you can tap on this little minus and then tap unblock. It's totally up to you. And then finally at the bottom, you do have an add new section. It's not very useful. As soon as you tap on that, it just opens up your contact list. So if you wanna add more contacts within this blocked contact section to block, you can do so right there as well. But this is where all of your blocked contacts are going to be situated. Whenever you block someone, this is where they're gonna go. So if you're trying to unblock them and you're finding that it's not working, go into these settings here and make sure that their phone number is not in this list. And I know it's gonna be a pain because there's so many, but you're gonna to have to do it that way. Now let's talk about a troubleshooting issue where you find yourself blocking someone and you're wondering why is the person I blocked still able to message me on my iPhone? Now this may be a call that's still coming through, a message that's coming through, or even FaceTime. There's a simple fix to this. You can do two things. First one I would try is just restarting your iPhone and turning the iPhone off and on is pretty simple. You're just going to press and hold on the side button, press and hold on one of the volume rockers, just press them and hold them together for about a second and then just slide to power it off. Give it about 30 seconds, press and hold on the side button again, it'll turn itself back on. Now, if that fails and the person is still contacting you, then you need to do what's called a soft reset on the iPhone. And this is very simple too, but this is going to take a few steps here. You're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then press and hold on the side button. And you wanna do this fairly quickly. So I'll show you here, I'll try my best. Press, release, press, release, hold on the side button. You can see what it's doing. Don't let go at this point. Keep holding on to that side button. When you see the Apple logo appear on the screen, then you let go of that side button. Now we can let go. It's going to soft reset itself. This does take a little bit of time. Uh, it depends on your iPhone as well. The older the iPhone, it may take a little bit longer to restart, but just let it restart. This isn't gonna harm the phone in any way. It powers itself back on. You can then unlock your phone again, and this should fix that issue where calls or messages that you've blocked on your iPhone are still coming through. Anyway, that is how you block or unblock contacts on the iPhone. If you run into any issues or you're still having problems, leave a comment in the comment box below. I do my best to help everybody out and I respond to pretty much every comment that comes my way. Don't forget to hit that like button if this video was helpful. Subscribe and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And if you're looking for more iPhone tips and tricks videos, there's a full playlist that you can check out to teach you everything you need to know about these iPhones so you can get the most out of them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.